Hey there, neighbor. Back in the late 80s, children had a thing for robots that could assume a humanoid shape, like Transformers or Voltron or so on. But we never really got a good Transformers game, or a Voltron game, at least not here in America. But we did get the next best thing, the Guardian Legend for the NES. So allow me to tell you a little bit about the Guardian Legend. Oh, and uh, spoilers. Guardian! Ah! What the f*** am I looking at? Well, creepy box art aside, Guardian Legend came out in 1988, and it's considered a cult classic. You play as the female Guardian of Earth. That's right. I said female. Boobs for the win! Your mission is to infiltrate Naju, that big blue planet on the title screen, which is hurtling towards our planet. So you start the game up, and hey, it's another space shooter. Okay, cool. I can dig that. You beat the first boss, and... Wait a minute, what? Now it's a top-down shooter? With an overworld map and many dungeons to find and explore? To get more powerful weapons and keys to access other areas? Does that sound familiar to anyone else at all? And where did your ship go? Maybe it was just for the opening level. That's cool. A bit on the unnecessary side, but what the hell. But then you find a corridor, and dive inside, and... Gosh, it's not just a spaceship, it's a transformer! In the corridors, the game reverts back to a shooter, and you just blast everything to pieces. And when you beat the boss, you get rewarded with a key, a new weapon, or a weapon upgrade. And then you're back in the overworld again. So you go through dungeon after dungeon, blasting bosses like a giant one-eyed fish, and a hairy, one-eyed, green scrotum that shits out ladders. But the... but the, I, What the f*** am I looking at?! After destroying all ten safety seals, it's time to get the hell out. But they won't let you just walk away. The last stage is a festival of bosses you've already beaten, ranging from pathetic to just as difficult as the last time you faced them. After you blow them all to hell, you fly off, stopping to watch Naju explode. Mission complete. The Guardian Legend is a good game. The mixing of genres works well, and the upgrade system, while crude, does make it fun to use all those weapons you picked up, if only to see how they've been upgraded. But do you know what I remember most? The absurdly difficult final boss. Oh, and that ending you just saw? It's a false one. We're not done. So you blast some debris from the exploding planet, wondering what else is left to conquer, when you hear the alarm again, and are soon accosted by a skinless, one-eyed, grinning thing with hands that try to grab you. Oh my god! Sorry to make such a big deal out of this, but when you're nine years old, that thing is pinch scary! It takes forever to kill. So you'd better hope you've got full health. The easiest way I've found to take this thing down is to use your enemy erasers on every missile and bullet that he fires at you in the hopes of getting health boxes while you slowly whittle him down with regular shots. When I was a kid, I don't know how many tries it took, but I remember when I did kill him, it took upwards of 15 minutes, which is a hell of a long time to be fighting a boss. He eventually turns orange, then red, and while each is a welcome sign that he's getting weaker, it also means he steps up his attacks. Keep on him though, and soon enough he'll explode. And what is your reward? Quite possibly the most laid-back credits music ever. 
along with a picture of the heroine with a little underboob going on. So, you know, totally worth it. Well, that's the Guardian Legend. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some more memories to make. for the win! Just rub it a little bit. Just rub it. Oh, that's it, sweetie. Oh, oh yeah. That's it right there. Oh, oh. Get a little nipple. Get a little nipple.